Hello my dear students, how are you? This is your teacher Nasim Ahmed from Ideal Public School Kathigora. In the last few videos we have done the explanation of the chapter 9 of class 9 force and laws of motion. Today in this video I'll be explaining the formulas of this chapter. So stay tuned with me. Let's see what are the formulas and how we have to derive them. Why it is important? Because before going with the numericals you have to understand the formulas and what are this video is a collective uh, video for formulas of this chapter force and laws of motion so let's jump right into it so students before starting with the numericals of this chapter i would like to tell you some important tips to solve the numericals of physics so first tip is clear the concept so before going through the numericals you have to clear the concept of the chapter first so if you if the concepts are not clear to you then you will surely face some difficulties while doing the numericals second tip is memorize the formulas so before uh, going with the numericals second most important thing is memor formulas so memorizing the formulas so if you don't know how to derive the formulas you will surely face some difficulties in doing the numericals so if you know how to derive it then you will be aware of each and every part of the formula okay so then uh, that will be helpful uh, during the understanding of the question also and while finding out the solution also next point is find out the key point so what is key point then so in each and every questions you will be finding some some uh, some words that will be pointing towards the answer the solution of the uh, like question so in the during uh, numerical solution you will be finding some some of the questions are very easy but some questions are to first of all understand the question then to solve the question so, uh, means every question needs to be understand first then you have to find the solution but uh, some some uh, questions are there where uh, it will be difficult to understand also so for those you will find some key points uh, and from these you will find the direct way of solution so before starting the numericals of this chapter let's see the formulas of the chapter so students in this chapter we have uh, understood the concept of force so first formula is for force that that we have found in uh, second law of motion the formula of force to f equal to m a f equal to m a where m stands for m stands for mass and a stands for acceleration so this acceleration we have found in chapter and then in the earlier chapter acceleration can be written as v minus u by t as we all of all of us know v is what v is the uh, final velocity and u is initial velocity and t is time so we can write this formula f if you uh, substitute this value of a in this a then you can find f equals to m v minus u by so this is the first formula that you will get next you have the uh, the next concept you ha you have is uh, momentum momentum so you see momentum is p so p equals to m v p equals to m v where uh, m is mass itself that i have given shown and v is velocity then you have equations of motion so this will also be required in this chapter while and while solving the numericals you have equations of motion equation of motion equations actually uh, equations we can say equations of motion the first one the first equation of motion this is v equals to u plus a t this is the first equation second equation this is s equal to u t plus half a t square 
then the third equation this is v square equal to u square plus 2 a s so this is the first equation this is the second equation and this is the third equation so we'll be understanding how to solve the numericals of this chapter from this so for the next formula you have law of conservation of momentum so for this we'll just derive out the formula of the uh, of this conservation of momentum so you, you have to consider two objects like one object and another object this one is uh, suppose ball a this one is b and this one is having mass m1 this is having m2 and this a ball is moving with the velocity the initial velocity u1 in this direction and this b ball is moving with the velocity u2 and moving in this direction so if you if you consider the velocity of this a ball is more than the velocity of b ball then at some point it will be colliding with the b ball isn't it so suppose this one a this one b ball okay then after this collision uh, the velocity of the b ball will be increased okay because this ball is having more velocity it will exert some kind of force in the b ball and the b ball will be uh, having more velocity than then it will be separated again so this is what before collision this is what after collision so this is again a ball this is b ball and after a collision if you consider the velocity is here v1 this is the final velocity of this first ball and this is what v2 and the mass will be same m1 m2 so now if you find out if you find out the uh, the momentum in both the cases so the total momentum total momentum of the balls before collision before collision so what will be the total momentum so what will be the momentum first of all the the product of the mass and the velocity so m1 u1 for a ball m2 u2 for b ball so if you say the total momentum then this will be the addition of this momentum the ball or the momentum of ball a and the momentum of ball b so we can write m1 u1 plus m2 u2 okay so nextly the total momentum of um, of the balls total momentum of the balls after collision equal to so we know the momentum of uh, uh, the velocity of a ball after collision is v1 so we can say m1 v1 for the ball first ball that is a m1 v1 plus we can say m2 v2 so how you have done it because the total momentum will be the addition of both the the momentums of both the balls so for the for the first ball it is m1 v1 the first mom, uh, the momentum and uh, the first b ball it is m2 v2 so we have added them so this will be what total momentum of the ball after collision so from this we can write uh, the 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 formula that is law of conservation of momentum according to this we have uh, the total momentum of the balls before collision is equal to total momentum of the balls after collision when no external force is exerted so this is the formula itself so we can write m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so this is the formula we will use it during uh, various numericals so students another very important formula of this chapter is recoil velocity of gun so if you consider this one as a pistol 
or gun anything you can say and uh, it is firing some bullet so if you consider this one as a bullet so if you say the mass of this gun is m g will say mass of gun okay and this is the bullet so the the mass will be m b okay m b then if you say uh, this bullet after firing this bullet is moving with the velocity of v b okay and due to this action some kind of opposing force will be exerted on the gun that will be called as recoil so these things we have found in uh, newton's third law of motion where uh, action reaction was there and due to action you get some reaction so that reaction will be called as uh, in case of gun that will be called as recoil okay recoil velocity so if you say this this velocity is directly opposite to the velocity of the motion okay so for the after firing this bullet will go in this direction and the opposing force that will be acting towards the opposite of the direction of the bullet so this will be called as suppose uh, v g okay so this will be recoil velocity velocity so if you consider this case then you have three things to say okay the uh, three things to find out you can say so first thing is momentum of the bullet or uh, yes the momentum momentum of the bullet so the motion is mb and the velocity is vb so we can say mass into velocity so mb vb then momentum of the gun so we know the uh, the mass is mg and the velocity is vg so we can say mg vg okay then we can say uh, by the law of conservation law of conservation of momentum we can say the momentum of bullet equal to momentum of gun in simple words mb vb equal to mg vg so why i am saying this because the the motion of this pistol is due to or this gun is due to the moment the motion of the bullet that's why the mo momentum of this bullet will be equal to the momentum of the gun so here you can see uh, mb vb equal to mg vg so mb is the mass of the bullet and mg is the mass of the gun and vb is the velocity of the bullet and vg is the velocity of the gun so this is what actually is recoil velocity velocity so if you know the mass of the gun and the bullet and the velocity of the bullet then we can find out the recoil velocity is it so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you have understood if you have not understood you can directly contact me in my whatsapp number or you can comment in the comment box here thank you for watching god bless